St. Paul VI said, the church doesn't really need more teachers. It needs more witnesses. And what can be a more credible witness to a young person who's searching than to have a young person tell them they have found the truth in Jesus Christ. Growing up, I went to the high school night program for Totus Tuis at my parish. And I saw the witness of the Totus Tuis team members and I was in, so in, impacted by them that I thought, when I get old enough, I'm doing that. I've found so much truth in what Pope John Paul II said, that man does not truly find himself until he makes a complete gift of himself. And I've really, over this summer, found that to be very true in my own life. My favorite thing about Totus Tuus uh, is getting to know the kids, um, getting to know my team, and realizing more and more um, how big the, the church is and um, how wonderful and beautiful the church is. That it isn't just this one group of people, like, you know, they're the kids, there's, there's ev everyone's in the church, and so it's really beautiful to see all that. And just falling deeper and deeper into love uh, uh, for Christ. Catch is coming! Totus Tuus is Latin for totally yours and was John Paul II's motto during his papacy. We're so blessed to have Totus Tuus here in the Diocese of Winona, Rochester, to have young adults who are educating and evangelizing our youth. Witnessing the Totus Tuus leadership teams this summer, it's been very apparent to me how much they've grown. All of them have talked about growing in some areas of weakness, growing in their leadership skills and ability to teach and also to witness to their faith. And it's also been wonderful to watch them grow and mature as adults, as Catholic young adults. My favorite part about Totus Tuus, being around kids, because I enjoy being around kids, and teaching them and seeing the, the little um, light bulb moment when they discover something. The call uh, to be a Totus Tuus missionary, I guess uh, it kind of started, actually went probably the first couple times that I went. Uh, the first time I went, I actually wasn't even Catholic. Their witness actually help, helped me uh, be more firm in my decision of uh, becoming Catholic. One night uh, I was giving my testimony and um, it's my first time giving my t this testimony to this group of students. That night I, I shared it. I was like, okay, like, you know, I think it went all right, you know, and everything. And we went and said night prayer and came out later. And um, it was the end of the night. Most of the students left. I was going back to the team room and one of the girls just came up to me <laughs> that night and she just was crying and she said, like, you're your, your testimony, it spoke to so much to me. You'll never know how much that meant to me, and thank you so much, I needed that. And I really don't know what part of it hit her. I don't know what I said exactly. All I know is that the Holy Spirit worked in that moment to shape someone else's life, and it makes, it fills one with confidence in the Lord that He will use whatever you are uh, giving to the world. Whether or not you think it's good enough, he's going to use it. Totus Tuus gave me just a Catholic community, Catholic friends that I still keep in touch with a year later even. Um, regularly go and just pray with them, go to their houses, hang out with them, kind of have that fellowship and that fraternity as well as the basis for prayer. 
It's going to change your life, change the way that you look at things. And it's going to be hard, but also it's going to be worth it because as much as you give of yourself, Jesus pours that much and even more back into you. Totus to us is so effective because it's young people evangelizing other young people. In our church, we know that as we get older, there is going to be gaps in our experience culturally. But when a young person who knows who Jesus Christ is, who's going through the same what challenges and developments in their life, when they can say to another young person, come, come to Mass with me. Come to know Jesus Christ. That makes all the difference in the world. I found encouragement from my team members in uh, challenging myself to things that I didn't think I would be able to do or push myself beyond what limits I thought I had. It's surprised me how close we have gotten, of how Christ-filled those friendships can be um, compared to people that I've known for a long time. When we really come together and really intentionally pray for each other is uh, where I found the most um, growth in my character, growing together as a team and um, relying on everyone. You know, we're all integral parts of the team, not just one individual. The biggest area of growth would definitely be just being more vocal and more of a leader, I think. Just being able to practice that more and just being able to have confidence in that. Teaching the little kids, they've taught me so much through teaching them. I've grown in knowledge of, of my own gifts and my talents and, um, and also how I can share that with the group. The biggest grace. The biggest grace. Well, I would say the biggest grace that I've received as a totus tuus missionary has really been just becoming more fully the man that God is calling me to be. Absolutely, positively, do it. Just do it. You have a free summer, go for it. You want to grow in virtue. You want to grow with uh, your relationship with God. You want to grow in relationship with others in a community. Do it. I would not have changed this summer for the world. Uh, it's helped me grow than anything else in my life has. Take the chance. If God is drawing you to it, he has a plan for it. It's a lot of work, but it's so worth it. And there's a lot of graces and a lot of growth that, that comes out of it. And it's, and it's a big challenge, but it's so rewarding to see the kids light up, to see um, Jesus work through them and to draw out, draw out his love in their heart. It's a great way to experience God and the generosity of God's people you get to do something so incredible that not many people have that opportunity to do. So if you have that chance, do it and you will love it so much. My hope for the future would be to see our young people on fire with the Lord, moved by the Holy Spirit, and inviting others to also become disciples.